It is amazing. Oh, this is, is I, I'm going 10 out of 10 all day long for this. I must have missed your big announcement. Y'all, look how good this looks. Yes. That's like a midnight snack, almost. I know what all that stuff is. Really? If you're looking for the perfect weeknight fall dinner, you're in the right place today. And also today's video is really special and hopefully really fun. I'm gonna be dropping a few hints throughout this video. They're pretty obvious at that about our big announcement coming next week. Y'all stay tuned. The recipe we're making today is special to me for two different reasons. One is a hint, I can't tell you. And number two, we're actually using my Grand Bob's Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe for the topping. It's gonna be so good. And like I said, this is a perfect recipe for this time of year. So this is Chicken and Cheddar Bay Biscuit Bake. Let me show you how to make it. All right, first things first, we're gonna preheat our oven all the way to 4. 50. We're getting the oven super hot because with this recipe, everything's pretty much gonna be done in our skillet. But after we put that biscuit topping on top, all we're gonna be doing is cooking those biscuits. By the way, you could make this a one pan meal if you have a really big or just a large oven safe skillet. I'm gonna just make our filling in my skillet and then put it in a casserole dish, really because I just need a really pretty picture of the end product. All right, to our pan, we're gonna add one medium onion that we diced up earlier. We're also gonna add about half a cup of diced carrot. Stir, and we're just gonna let this saute for about five minutes until these onions and carrots start to soften up just slightly. I'm adding in about two cloves of minced garlic. We're also gonna sprinkle in one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. We also have half a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. Lots of good flavors in there. We're just gonna give this a stir and just let this cook for just another minute. We're basically just cooking out this raw flour taste. It doesn't take long, but it does make a difference. It smells so good. Yes, smells like Thanksgiving. And y'all, yesterday we cooked all day long. We pretty much made a miniature Thanksgiving. We made a whole roasted chicken, green bean casserole, my spiced cranberry sauce, baked mac and cheese, and what else? Sweet potato casserole. And y'all will see all those recipes, but it won't be in a video. I will have some Thanksgiving recipes this year, of course, but the ones I just mentioned, you'll be able to find somewhere else. All right, next we're gonna add in about two pounds of cubed chicken. We just cubed this up into bite-sized pieces. I like to keep them up pretty small for this. We're also going in with three cups of chicken broth. This is actually just water and the better than bouillon paste. We're also gonna add in one cup of milk and we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer. This is a little bit different than my normal type of filling, especially with chicken. We're just gonna cook the chicken in with all these good seasonings and our broth and our milk. It's just gonna create a really tender chicken inside our biscuit bake filling. One more ingredient I almost forgot to add. This is about half a cup of frozen peas. And of course these will thaw out and begin to cook as well. So while that's coming up to a simmer, I thought we would chat a little bit. I've hinted here and there on the community post on YouTube as well as on Instagram about two really big announcements coming up. And yes, they are coming. I've had a few comments lately saying, I must have missed your big announcement. But nope, you didn't miss it. They're on the way. And I think the biggest one should be announced next week. I'm so excited. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for and waiting for. But throughout today's video, there are tons of hints as to what that super big announcement is. And I'm pretty sure I probably gave it away, but if you have a guess as to what the hints are, so down in the comments, I want y'all to leave what you think are hints that we've placed in this video. And back a few months ago, a couple months ago, when I asked what you guys think the big announcement is, quite a few people actually guessed it. So y'all are smart, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. 
let's have a little bit more fun and let us know what you think some of these little hints we've dropped are. All right, while everything is back there simmering away, we're gonna get started on our Cheddar Bay biscuit topping. And like I said, this is this comes from my grandma. She always made Cheddar Bay biscuits. I've shared that recipe with y'all before, but it must start with this Southern biscuit mix. It is a Formula L. And what kind of makes it so special, this is a just add water mix if you're just looking for regular biscuits. But I want to show y'all for the ones who haven't seen, it actually has little, they call them golden flakes, but they're like little flakes of butter in your mix, already ready to go. I know what all that stuff is. Really? Yeah. How did you figure that out? Well, I found it out the hard way. Okay. When I was pouring all that biscuit mix in that bowl for you, it's like, what's all these little chunky pieces? I thought it didn't, I didn't know what was supposed to be in there. So I picked it out. I, you tasted it? I tasted it. And what did it taste like? It tasted like Crisco. So, <laughs> so it's probably it's, butter flavored yeah, Crisco. It's like, it's like the texture of Crisco, but had a little bit it's of a shortening, better flavor. Like yeah. I said, yeah. it's, it's butter flavored shortening. Yeah. So maybe don't eat the butter pieces out. Make sure you cook it first before you eat it. Just make it in the biscuit, y'all. So I already have about three and one fourth cup of that biscuit mix in my bowl here. And to that, we're gonna sprinkle in, this is about, how much cheese is this? It's a heart measured half a cup. A half a cup measured with a heart, so it's probably a little bit more than half a cup of freshly shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix our cheese in with our flour, just until we have everything nice and evenly incorporated in there before we add in our buttermilk. Because I remember, even from when I was little, after you add the buttermilk in and you begin to stir, you only want to stir as few times as possible. So that way your biscuits are not overmixed. That's one thing I remember specifically that my grandbob told me. Told me. That makes it like fluffy still. Well, you don't want to overmix your biscuits because then they'll just be tough. So literally y'all can see how many stirs I'm doing. It's like one, two, three. Four. I feel like the owl with the Tootsie Pops. How many stirs does it take to get the perfect biscuit? All right, one more and we're gonna be good. All right, now we're carefully gonna bring over our mixture and I'm just gonna transfer it into my nine by 13 here. All right, so I have my biscuit dough over here on the side and I'm just gonna scoop biscuits. These are drop biscuits. I'm just using my little ice cream scoop and we're just gonna place a few biscuits right on top. All right, depending on how big you do your biscuits, this recipe does about 12 biscuits. I have just a little bit of that biscuit dough in there, but no worries, all I'll do is just bake these up on a pan and we'll have some extra Cheddar Bay biscuits to sop up all of that delicious chicken stew in the bottom. All right, so we already preheated the oven to 450. This is going in there for just about 10 to 15 minutes until our biscuits are slightly golden brown. All right, while our chicken bake is finishing baking up, we're gonna make a little garlic butter topping to go on top of those biscuits. It's gonna send this over the top. I just have one stick of butter melted here. To that, I'm just adding half a teaspoon of garlic powder, just a small sprinkle of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and I would also add in some chopped chive as well, or you can do some dried parsley. So let's just give this a mix and set this to the side. So Steph's Nest 8533, that sheet pan recipe looks like it would be perfect meal prep for work for the week. Yes. It looks so yummy and cozy for a nice 2 a.m. lunch. Oh, 2 a.m. lunch, yes. That's like a midnight snack almost. A little later than midnight, yeah. early breakfast, or in her case, a lunch. Yes. But yes, she's talking about the sheet pan dinner that we did one video back. I'll link it down below if y'all wanna see it. It was an autumn sheet pan meal, but that'll be a perfect meal prep option. It was oh so, my good. Gosh, it was so good. All the fall really flavors good. in there. So if you missed that, check it out. All right. All right, we got time for one more comment. One more comment? What you got? Um, Oh, I love this comment. Okay. All right, this one came from Rhonda Wilhite. Rhonda Wilhite. Oh no, just Rhonda. Ninety-four eighteen. Hey Rhonda. Rhonda. Hey Rhonda. Thank you for commenting, Rhonda. <laughs> the meatballs sound and look really good. Yeah. 
I think I might double the gravy recipe, laugh out loud. Good idea, Rhonda. I like lots of gravy. Rhonda, yeah. I like lots of gravy. Good too. idea, Rhonda. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you a secret, too. The other day, we took the kids to school, and I surprised Jennifer on the way home with some breakfast. Ooh, yes. And Bojangles. I, I'm not going to lie. I actually, I actually stopped and got my own gravy biscuits. So, it was yeah. absolutely Oh, my stuff. gosh. Speaking of, I got to tell you all this. Okay. Y'all know I love Dollar Tree Dinners. It's another YouTube channel. She also has TikTok. But she shared, if you go to Bojangles, if you have a Bojangles near you, to get a fry, like a medium fry, and then just a side of the sausage gravy, and then dip those seasoned Cajun fries in the sausage gravy. I did that Ooh, one time. She was on the I bet that's it. delicious. It was so good. My mouth is watering. Oh, mine is too. It was so oh, good. I can't. I, I'm so, good. That's after school uh, snack that's today. That's a snack Today. Later. Yes. Today. So good. Yeah. Y'all, look how good this looks. Oh my goodness. And we ain't done yet. Lastly, I just have our garlic butter up here. And we're just gonna brush the biscuits. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This is pure comfort food. Oh my goodness, y'all. These things look delicious i'm so excited i said that about every meal because i am so excited about every meal that we cook every recipe look at that filling in there it looks amazing yes it sure does all right we're sitting down this is kind of our late lunch we're gonna give you a little taste test that looks amazing Y'all, this is so good. These biscuits in here, of course, absolutely delicious. The chicken is perfectly tender. The ratio to like the little chicken stew and biscuit is perfect. You don't need anything with this. Like I said, this could be a one pot meal. All those flavors in there are perfect. It's buttery, has all those herbs from the poultry seasoning. So good. Y'all gonna make this recipe, and this one is a keeper, so be on the lookout for that announcement. It is amazing. Oh, this is, I, I'm going 10 out of 10 all day long for this. Video that we did two videos back was a chicken and stuffing stuffed shells. I'm gonna leave it right here. Y'all go watch that. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. See y'all.